Hello, everybody. So behind me is the Refresh 2024 Chevy Trailblazer. There's a lot of new things with this model, especially a lot of advanced technology for this affordable subcompact crossover in the Chevy lineup. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. So of course, the first place we should take a look at is our exterior design. Now, when you first walk up to the 2024 Trailblazer, it won't be super obvious what's different, but Chevy has overall massaged the look of the front end of this model. Um, of course, what we're standing next to right now is the RS trim level. So this is gonna be the sporty version. It has the most aggressive design. So you'll notice you've got a large lower grille of course, you've got that gloss black finish here. You also have the gloss black finish that goes across the center bar. And then the signature bow tie is going to be blacked out as well. We have kind of a light blue paint, which I think looks really good with these black accents. And then down here at the bottom, you also notice we have a pretty aggressive looking lower fascia. And this is actually finished in a faux carbon fiber. Let Mason get up close to that. So kind of a unique look on board. Now there are still gonna be a lot of different trim levels you can get this model in. Like I said, RS is the sporty one. Over here on this side is the active trim level. This is more of the off-road focused model. Um, I say off-road focused loosely. It's really just kind of a more off-road design, but you do have different tires. Um, and as you can see, the design here is gonna be just a little bit more different. Uh, it's gonna emphasize that ruggedness. Now back over here on the RS, I do wanna point out, we have updated lighting. This is gonna be a full LED arrangement. So we've got the daytime running light up here at the top. And then our main headlight cluster is gonna be down here in the center section. But let's take a look next at the wheels because this is another area that Chevy has updated for 2024, particularly with this RS trim level. So you'll see these wheels look very large for a vehicle in this size category. That's because they are 19 inch alloy wheels. And I love this design. It has a very upscale look to it. A lot of contrast elements going on. And once again, that really pops with this blue paint. Speaking of pop with the blue paint, the RS trim level as well as the active trim level are available with contrast finish on the roof. So we've got the black finish on the mirrors and the roof, giving it that look over there, over my shoulder, is the active and that has the opposite effect that has the white roof on the, and the mirrors as well. So very unique design that you can really make your trailblazer pop. Now looking at the overall side design, nothing is really gonna be changing here. Um, if you know about the upcoming Chevy tracks, which we will be covering on our channel soon, by the way, the trailblazer has a very distinct look from the tracks. This is a lot more boxy really a more traditional looking SUV if that's what you prefer. Now, as far as the overall length, we don't expect that to change for the 2024 model. So about 173 inches in overall length. Now, as far as the rear design is concerned, what's gonna be different for this Trailblazer model? Well, you're gonna have a few little things, just kind of like the front, Chevy has refreshed the design to make it more modern, but they're not gonna completely radicalize the entire design here. So we have our Chevy bow tie emblem right here in the middle. We're gonna have slightly updated taillights. Uh, if it's like the previous Trailblazer model, uh, they should be LED or at least partially LED on active and RS trim levels. Uh, it does look like we have an incandescent uh, reverse light and maybe an incandescent uh, taillight. I'm not exactly sure on that. We'll have to test that out later in our full review, which will hopefully come to the channel soon. Um, but a lot of the bigger changes are gonna be down here in the lower diffuser area. So we have a lot of matte black plastic here. Uh, we do have that signature carbon fiber trim for the diffuser like we saw in the front, which I think is really quite cool looking, especially for the sporty RS. And another big design change is that we have circle exhaust pipes. So that really just spices up the overall look of this Trailblazer. Um, it makes it look very sporty and aggressive. And over there on the active trim level, you'll see we have trapezoidal exhaust outlets with a slightly different rear diffuser design. Now, even though this is an affordable SUV, Chevy is throwing in three out of four safety systems as standard equipment. That does not appear to change for 2024, so the only optional system is adaptive cruise control. But guys, there is a really cool tech-filled cabin inside, and there's some big updates in there that I can't wait to show you. 
All right, let's go ahead and climb inside. Now, even though I really like the exterior updates, really the big news is certainly on the inside. Come on in, Mason, get a good look at these screens. I'm gonna talk about these in just a second, but I just wanna go ahead and preview some big tech improvements versus uh, the 2023 model. Now, I wanna start off by talking about the seats. So we'll take a look here at our RS seats. These are really nice looking seats for a affordable crossover model. We have a leatherette material. It's got a lot of perforation in here. Feels pretty nice, also feels durable. And we've got this color contrast piping and stitching that runs all throughout. And honestly, they feel pretty comfortable as well. Plus RS branding up there at the top. Now I'll go ahead and let Mason climb inside so he can get a good look at the overall cabin and we'll take a look at the details. Now, like always, we like to start off with overall cabin materials. So let's go to the door trim. We've got a padded plastic down here for the armrest. We have this leatherette material through here with the stitching detail. We've got um, some accenting up here and it is gonna be hard touch along the top. It is also gonna be hard touch along the upper part of the dashboard. That's pretty much expected for a more affordable subcompact crossover. But we do have the leatherette through the center, which is quite nice, and more of that stitching detail. As far as the overall design, though, you will notice that you have a different aesthetic going on. They've changed the vents. These are a lot more premium looking now. And like I said, we added this kind of leatherette area, which looks quite nice. All right, so I closed up the door so we could get these screens booted up again. All right, so big news, gauge cluster, eight inches now. So an eight inch full digital gauge cluster, that means you can customize it, stuff like that. Over here, 11 inch infotainment system. And here's the kicker, but both of these are standard on every single version of this 2024 track. So that of course is a huge tech upgrade over what we previously had um, and something you really do not expect to see at this price point. Now previously our display was gonna be eight inches um, also, we're running the new infotainment system, which I'm not going to be able to demonstrate because we don't have the key in this um, model here at the auto show, but because it is the new infotainment system, you've got all the latest and greatest things, including wireless Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. Now let's come over here in this area and take a look at our steering wheel. Again, surprisingly nice steering wheel. We've got a flat bottom design here. We've got some accenting for this RS trim level and we have the perforated leather with the stitching detail. It is going to be a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. And we do actually have steering wheel heating on this model. Now let's turn over here and take a look at our storage. If I can open up this console here, there we go. Really nice and deep. Of course, it's gonna be narrow because this type of vehicle is a more narrow body, but like I said, really deep. I feel like we could fit our coupons in there, no problem. We also have another large storage area up here, two cup holders, and another large storage area up here in the front. So lots of places to stick things. This is a wireless phone charging pad, and this is gonna be included as standard equipment on almost every single trim level. Now, one of the upgrades uh, that I won't be able to show off is the fact that you now have a standard HD vision backup camera. So that's gonna give you the best graphics um, where previously you had to upgrade to a different trim level to be able to get the HD vision. Now you'll have the better quality graphics as standard equipment. As far as our climate controls, uh, they should remain as a single zone automatic setup. We're gonna have our uh, knobs here to adjust the temperature as well as your zones. We do have heated seats on this example. Obviously, ventilated seats are not something that's gonna be offered. That's certainly not expected in this class or in this price point. As we go up above, we've got an auto dimming mirror and we do have a sunroof. One of the things I'm noticing, even though the shade is not retracted all the way, this is a panoramic sunroof. Again, that's another one of those kind of unexpected features for this class. So it's really nice that Chevy's allowing you to get some of the more premium features from Equinox and Blazer here on the Trailblazer. Now the Trailblazer has always had a very nice rear seat. That's gonna continue for this refresh model. A little over 39 inches of legroom, 38 inches of headroom, which is very impressive figures for this segment of vehicle. Now, as far as some of the features here on this fully loaded one, we do not have vents, but if we drop below that, we have a household style it. Definitely not expected for this segment. We also have two USB ports of type A variety and type C variety. 
Additionally, we're going to have a fold-down center armrest. Uh, heated rear seats are going to continue to not be offered, I don't believe, for this refresh model. And your door trim is going to be mostly hard-touch plastic here in the back. Now walking up to the tailgate. We do have a power one. That's a pretty rare feature, honestly, for this segment. It's going to be on the fully loaded examples. And as far as the space is concerned back here, a good amount of space as well. 25 cubic feet behind the second row seats. If we reach up and fold these seats down, we're going to be looking at 54.4 cubic feet, which is also a good amount for the segment. We also do have a spare tire integrated up underneath of the cargo floor. So very impressive job from Chevy when it comes to the practicality for this Trailblazer model. Now, as far as the powertrains are concerned for this refreshed Trailblazer model, it's actually not going to change. So you're going to have two different engines uh, that you can pick from. A standard version is going to be a 1.2 liter turbo three cylinder, 137 horsepower with that specific uh, model. If you go for the higher end trim levels, you will get the higher output version. It's going to be a 1.3 liter turbo three cylinder, and that's going to be making 155 horsepower. But do keep in mind, you do not have a high output engine or anything along those lines for this Trailblazer model. Now, power is going to be routed to the ground via a CVT or a nine speed automatic transmission, depending on if you choose front wheel drive or all wheel drive. All wheel drive is optional on every single trim level. And as far as your fuel economy figures, if they stay the same as the 2023 model, which I assume they will, it will range anywhere from 28 combined to 30 miles a gallon combined, depending, depending on your trim level and engine configuration. Now, how much is this 2024 Trailblazer going to cost you? Well, the 2023 model starts at a little under $23,000 and it goes up to $27,000 as a starting point for the RS trim level. We do not have official 2024 pricing at the time this video was made. If there is official pricing by the time this video is uploaded, we will go ahead and add that to the video description or in the video itself. Uh, but do expect that the prices will rise a little bit from that 2023 uh, price point that I just mentioned. So I'd say maybe for this RS, you'd be looking at a starting point of around $28,000 for 2024. Now, if you're curious as to when this vehicle is going to hit dealer lots, it should be sometime later this year. Um, I wouldn't expect to wait too, too long. So maybe sometime this fall or summer for a 2024 Trailblazer. But guys, if you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps us out. It helps us go to auto shows like this where we can show you guys some of the latest cars on the market. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. And we'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.